back again. I'm just going to talk a little bit about a couple of Filson coats here. We got the Cape coat right there, and then we just got the Mackinac coat right here. Uh, the Mackinac's from 2020, uh, the Cape coat's from 2019. Uh, that was a limited edition color that they had that year. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's a 26 ounce Mackinac, and this one's a 24 ounce Mackinac. They're both in a medium. I'll try them on here in a little bit and show you. Uh, they pretty much both fit uh, roughly about the same, and they're the same length. Um, a couple of the main features that are different would be the cape over the top of this one. This one only has a single layer over the top. Uh, that one has snap button closure in the front, whereas this one has the regular button. Another thing is this one has the map pocket on the back, whereas the other one does not. This one has an inside pocket where that one does not. And the pocket configuration on the front is slightly different. So this one you got the hand warmer pockets and no over pocket. And you got the pockets up here. Whereas this is, you got the hand warmer pocket on the side here and the pocket in the front. I actually like the pocket configuration of the single Mackinac better than the cape coat for sure. All right, I'll put them on now and compare a little bit. Okay, this is the cape coat on. Um, the extra warmth that you get from this cape being over this top section here, front and back, is actually pretty substantial. I've noticed it quite a, quite a difference between this one. Um, so for the most part, they're fairly similar other than the cape and the pocket configuration. Um, you got a two button snap adjustment here. Button up closure in the front. Just a single pocket on either side here. You don't have the uh, individual little pockets like these do here. And then just the hand warmer pockets here. So because it's got this little slit here on the side that comes up about two inches on either side there, I find sometimes it almost seems like it bells out around the bottom and I don't like that look. So I like this one, how it doesn't have that slit up the sides. I guess for certain reasons you might want it, but Overall, I personally think the single Mackinac is the way to go. I do enjoy being able to come in real quick and just taking it off like that, but I love the features of the Mackinac, single Mackinac better. And if you want that cape feature, get the double neck. No, actually, uh, it adds uh, a lot of bulk, the double Mackinac through the sleeves and stuff, so it is quite nice to have, be able to have the, the option of having the cape and not the extra bulk on the arms. It is nice for a little bit warmer weather. But this uh, coat is definitely good for some pretty cold weather. You don't want to be too active in either one of these coats with it being too warm, or you're going to sweat pretty good. Okay, just a quick thing to remember, it's a 26 ounce Mackinac, single layer through the whole coat other than where the pockets are, where the cape is, and wherever it's folded over, say around the cuffs here, and inside here, where it's folded over here. Other than that, single layer through the whole coat. Okay, so the 26 ounce compared to the 24 ounce, uh, if you feel it, you can notice the 26 is a little bit thicker, but not by much at all. And one thing to remember too, is it's easy to keep a little sewing kit with you and to fix one of these buttons out in the field. That's quite simple. Whereas to fix one of these out in the field, not nearly as simple, got to carry a lot more with you.
Here's a single Mackinac arm. And I have a video comparing the single Mackinac to the double Mackinac too, if you want to check that out. But yeah, I think that's about all I want to say for now. If there's something else that I think of, maybe I'll make another video about it. But uh, thanks again for watching my fucking video. All right, I'll try them on now and see what you think. <laughs> that was horrible, too. Okay, let's, let's redo that, maybe. All right, I'll put them on now and uh, let you compare. You will compare. Oh, man, this is really funny. Um, <laughs> You're not gonna be wanna, you're not, you're not gonna be, shit.